about five minutes out, maybe four. Police say a review is underway into how the officer in this video that you're looking at right now handled a traffic stop in South Whitley. The officer says he pulled over the 18-year-old driver because she had a headlight out and she was speeding. And she wound up in handcuffs on the pavement. The family released that video on YouTube, which has led to a barrage of comments and concern. And today, the town council held an executive session to look into what happened. The teen's mother and father sat down with 21 Investigates reporter Taylor Williams. The family says they were angry when they first saw the video. They hope by putting it out there, it will start a conversation about training for officers. A rainy day, January 24th in South Whitley. You can see Officer Brian Schimmel pulling 18-year-old Vivian Augustus over. He says she had a headlight out and was speeding. About five minutes out, maybe four. In this police report obtained by 21 Investigates, Officer Schimmel says Augustus wouldn't roll her window all the way down. He says he wanted her to get out of the car so they could hear each other. He says she refused and wouldn't give him her driver's license or identify herself. So he, quote, assisted her out of the vehicle. This is how he explained it to her dad, who showed up on the scene. Uh, want to give me her ID, want to give me a registration, so she was assisted out of the vehicle. Brent and Macy Augustus used different words to describe what happened. We were not prepared for how quickly things escalated. And it's just, yeah, just confusion of what facilitated this. This is how Officer Schimmel explained what went down to a yeah. second officer. Pull over for headlight speed. Okay. Cracks her window. Ask her to roll down the rest of the way. Cracks it another half inch. Ask her to exit. She refuses to exit until I tell her why. Tell her about four or five times to exit the vehicle. You don't want to go down this route. Refuse to exit. So, pulled her ass out, put her in arm bars, slammed her to the ground, got her in custody. The teen was charged with refusal to identify herself while stopped for an infraction, resisting law enforcement, and speeding. The prosecutor's office dropped the resisting charge, but when the family learned the court set a trial date for October, they decided to release the video. We've had, you know, months of people speculating about it and talking to our kids at school about it and, you know, friends and all kinds of things. So we're like, you know, what, we'll just put up the video. People can draw their own conclusions. Police posted this statement on Facebook. It says, quote, it is a crime to refuse to identify yourself if stopped for a traffic infraction. Further, a law enforcement officer is authorized to arrest any individual who commits a crime in the officer's presence. It goes on to say the reasonableness of this officer's conduct during the arrest is being reviewed. More than anything, if it shines a light that says police need more training to be able to de-escalate situations, especially when they're dealing with young people, and you could save somebody else from having a negative interaction, that would be a win. I did some digging and discovered Officer Schimmel worked for the Monrovia Police Department last year. The Monrovia Police Chief says Schimmel served a 10-day suspension and had to complete de-escalation training after an incident at a racetrack. In studio, Taylor Williams, 21 Alive News.